going on people Prince here uh, this video is well overdue I'm gonna explain why I'm not getting 2k14 for current gen consoles why I'm gonna wait until 2k14 on the ps4 right now I've, j I've just cut a few screenshots from that trailer okay to show you how beautiful this game really looks okay I'm gonna talk about some little screenshots that I see and uh, visuals that that, that, uh, that stand out okay because there are big improvements graphically it's incredible what they're doing on the PS4, okay? Main thing is, right, you can see the sweat on their body. You can see, like, the glossy sweat. Well, look on Kevin Durant, you'll see on James Harden and Serge Ibaka's foreheads, you can see the creases in their foreheads. James Harden's layup's coming up, you'll see that his face, and look at that. You can see the creases in his foreheads, the facial expressions, like you would actually do while making a move like this and going through traffic, you know? Beautiful, it's actual footage. And you just so you guys just look while while I speak, okay? Let me explain to you why I'm not getting 2K14 for current gen, okay? If you've seen my last one of my last videos where I explain, it's titled "Why 2K14 is One Giant Patch," okay? I explain there a lot, and I'm not going to reiterate um, all of the things I said, but the main points, such as pretty much all 2K14 is is gameplay improvements. It's one it's one giant patch, exactly what I titled that other video. You see, what 2K13 should have done, it should have been 2K14. They should have patched and fixed the main issues. Instead, they're doing that with 2K14. So I do not see incentive to get it. I've seen gameplay, I've seen commentators play it, and it looks the same. Okay, I haven't got my hands on it, but I know there are some, a lot of, ch a lot of different gameplay changes, new animations, this and that. So? That's not going to entice me to spend money on a new game, um, on a new 2K game, when I can just get it for next gen and get all these graphic improvements. Because I'm superficial, right? I'm a superficial person. So when I see the difference between a PS4 and a PS3, and the graphics between 2K13 and 2K14, I'm like, damn, I'm not going to waste my money on 2K13. And I know some people say, well, you get $10 back. You only have, there's like a $10 difference, because you get a rebate, right? If you buy 2K13 for current gen and you get 2K14 for next gen? Yeah, I know this. But it is not feasible for me as a commentator to do this. And I don't understand why other people would do it either. You see, you're gonna start a mode, you're gonna start a my career, you're gonna start an association, whatever you play in 2K14, you're gonna start that mode, you're gonna play it for a month, two months, however many months until uh, PS4 comes out, and then you're gonna start it all over again. 2K, um, 2K has not mentioned anything about Porting over your my career player to to the next gen. 2K hasn't said anything. You can't do it. We assume you can't do it. In other games you can, like FIFA, I believe you can. They are giving you that option. Other sports games you can do that. So as a commentator, I do not see that realistically. I'm not going to waste my time playing this game on a PS3, and you know when it's so similar. And I'm gonna have to start my my career all over again. And I don't know why these, all these other commentators are doing, are playing it. I guess the bigger commentators, you know, the ones with thousands, tens of thousands, millions of subscribers, you know, of course are gonna put it out there because they, the people want it, right? For me, I think even if I had that number amount of subscribers or views, I wouldn't even touch it. I wouldn't even touch 2K14 for current gen because it's a waste of time. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna enjoy it, maybe. But I'm going to start it all over again for PS4, okay? So that's a big reason for me personally. Now let me get back to my point before, how I was saying there's no real difference between 2K13 and 2K14. It's just gameplay differences, right? It's just little fixes, leaning layup, you know, animations. Even the visuals are the same. They have been so lazy, 2K, that they couldn't even change the visuals. Like, the scoreboard looks the same. Um, the commentators are still the same. Our my, for God's sake, our my player still sounds exactly the same. They know we want a new my player voice. They know this. 
Now, we don't know if they're going to change that for next gen. We don't know what they're going to change. Besides the graphics, we don't know if it's going to be exactly the same game. But 2K have been lazy because they got no competition. And I said this in the other video. They have no competition. The, the live has not been released. It's, they, that live NBA Live 14 is coming out for next gen. All right. So I only think that the, these games are really going to start taking off in, in maybe a couple of years. In one, two years. 2K15, 2K16, right? But for right now, it's eh. I ain't going to get it. Okay, so I'm going to bring this video to a close now. Uh, all in all, 2K14 for next year, I hope, and I get the feeling that it will be different. It will be it will be different and play different. Not only look different, but it will play different to 2K14 uh, on current gen. I think the next gen will be, uh, be a different game. It will have a different feel to it. Um, they haven't given us any, any gameplay, but I, that's the, 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 the feeling I'm getting, right? We can only hope, because if it's the same exact game, just different graphics, then it's not gonna be all that it turns out to be. All the hype, it won't be. It won't be fulfilled. So that's what I'm doing. I'm waiting for 2K14 for next gen. I'm gonna wait till the PS4 comes out. I may not get the PS4 until quite a bit later. I live in Australia, so it releases. Uh, the date is is a later release by about a week or two to North America and most of the other world. That's just what it is, what it is, that's fine. Um, but I know pre -order, I can't pre-order it anymore. Um, so I may be getting it whenever I can get it. It's not a big thing for me. I'm not in a desperate rush to get it, you know. I have a life outside of this YouTube, video games, things. This is just a hobby. Um, so yeah. What am I doing right now? Right now, I'm going to be... I just played GTA 5 for the first time, the game. The game is really good. It's, I'm gonna bring you some GTA 5 gameplay. Please watch it. It's gonna be entertaining. And if it's not, tell me why it isn't. Don't just, don't just watch the video and dislike it or whatever. I need constructive criticism. I want to get better. I want to get better. I want to become a great commentator, not just a good commentator. I want to become a great commentator. So you tell me what I can do. And you, if it's if there's nothing I can do, tell me that. Tell me you're doing good. Whatever. Give me your honest opinions. That's what I'm going to be doing, bring GTA 5. I'm going to continue to bring 2K13. It's the same looking game. You know, you guys probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference even. But the way I commentate it, the way I make it entertaining, I don't think not bringing out 2K14 will be a big deal for me personally, my channel. So I'm, I still want to make my player retire in the Hall of Fame. I still want to get him to the Hall of Fame. Um, that's not looking that, that hopeful now because I haven't been playing it that much. But I'm going to still try and do it. And we'll bring you 2K13 videos. I keep bringing you GTA 5 and all those other games. Until the PS4 comes out. I'm done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Prince out.